So if you're new to our channel, I'm just going to start by saying go ahead and hit that post notification bell so you can stay updated and in the loop when we post new videos, new bangers, new pranks, new challenges, all that good stuff you wouldn't want to miss out. Also, if you're returning, go ahead and like this video and you can tell already by the title what this video is going to be. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Guys, so I decided I wanted to do um, a type of pregnancy video where I'm answering your guys' questions, your guys' ideas. Anything you guys want to know about being pregnant, I guess, um, I'm here to answer, I guess. So, um, I had made a poll on Instagram earlier of just if you guys, some questions that you guys wanted me to answer, um, and I have a list. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I have a list of some things that I'm going to talk about. It's going to be questions. It's going to be <clears throat> just a mixture of things um, pertaining to pregnancy. So um, the first question that I had received was, um, how different was this pregnancy versus my last pregnancy? So if you guys already watched our other video, which I hope you have by now, um, I'm having another baby girl. So... At first, I was thinking I was having a boy just because the symptoms were so different this time around with Omi. I was sick, but I wasn't sick bad. I probably was sick, like, in the beginning of the pregnancy. Um, like, the very beginning. Like, the first couple weeks, I probably was sick. And um, with her, I... Okay, so I was sick a little bit. With her, I gained a lot of weight I gained let's say it was 120 so I gained like 80 pounds <laughs> like I know that sounds crazy but I gained 80 pounds during my pregnancy with her um I had ovarian cysts when I was pregnant with her and after I gave birth to her I ended up getting a pulmonary embolism which I can explain more about that in another video if you guys want to know about that. Pulmonary embolism is just a blood clot. It formed in my leg and traveled to my lung, so I had uh, about a 50 cents piece size um, worth of hole in, or clot inside of my lung. So I, if you guys want to know more about that, let me know and I'll drop a video about that. But those were the things that happened with Omi. And then in this pregnancy, for the first... I want to say three and a half months yeah for about three and a half months four maybe I was sick like throwing up every single day like it was bad uh I was just like this gotta be a boy because all this throwing up and stuff like I wasn't doing this with only but that I was okay so I've noticed the sickness with her is increased um I'm gaining weight but not as much as I have with Omi yet, um, when I first started, or before, when I found out I was pregnant, I was 100 and like 48, 49 pounds, so I would say 150, and I'm currently 173, so I kind of gained like 23 pounds already, um, but I'll get more into that too, <clears throat> so um, that's one difference um she's very active she moves around like crazy um i'm not like it's the weird thing is to be honest like i haven't i feel like my appetite is the same as before i was pregnant like there's some cravings that i have that are different and i probably eat a lot of that but as far as like one thing that i was craving really 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 bad was stra chocolate covered strawberries and i got those but I don't know there's not nothing like main like something like super I don't know I don't know what it is but there's nothing excuse me like weirdly that I'm craving or anything like that um what else I would say that's the difference differences between each of them 
Um, like that. Oh, my hair. You see my hair is like popping. Like, ooh, y'all can't see right now, but boy, if you follow me on Instagram. been posting videos and all that good stuff like man my hair is flourishing but you know once you come to the end of your pregnancy and get the fear of losing it shedding it and all that you know all that stuff so I am afraid of losing it but for in the meantime my my hair I got some mm, I'm loving that but um oh my nails are growing well, I can't, that's probably the same. Um, when I was pregnant, only my nails were growing thick. Usually they're very like thin and they'll break easy, but they're growing very thick. And if you guys are wondering why the quality may be different, I'm filming on my iPad and not my um, phone that I usually use. So that's probably the difference if you do guys do notice a difference. But um, that's probably all for the differences. Um, let's see, dislikes of being pregnant. <clears throat> um, I have a few actually. Um, for me, it's nothing like towards anybody. It's nothing like I don't know how to explain it without sounding like mean or horrible. But I just honestly feel like pregnancy is not for me. Like I don't like how I feel being pregnant, and I don't know if it's because I'm like an overthinker. So I just sit there and like examine myself, and I just build these like weird thoughts about myself. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but. I just don't like being pregnant. Some people love being pregnant. I don't. I it's. I just don't. I love the fact that I get to feel my baby and I get to grow with my baby and connect with my baby in that sense. But other than that, I pregnancy is not for me. Um, that's one thing I dislike. Um, the weight gain. I mean, any female knows and you know probably would understand or agree. The weight gain, um, I, I dislike it. Um, I, I don't like, I dislike it, but at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. It's gonna happen. Um, I'd rather gain the weight and have my baby be healthy than not, you know? So it's like I care about it, but I don't at the same time. But I don't know. Pregnancy for some people, they can stay small during the whole pregnancy. For me, I don't, it doesn't seem like that's my case. Um, I don't know what it is, but it, it's that's just not. It, it doesn't happen like that for me um another thing i dislike is when people are like dang you're really big like i have a whole nother child in me of course i'm going to be big i'm carrying a whole baby inside of me of course i'm going to be big like my thing is like before i was pregnant was i this big no so like you know what i'm saying like i don't know some people just gotta watch the way they say things because i i don't know i guess being pregnant i'm like more fragile to certain things said to me like it's more personal I feel like I don't know but I just don't like when people like oh you're getting big or you're real big like I have a baby in me I have a human in me so of course I'm going to be bigger of course I'm going to appear bigger of course my stomach's going to get bigger so that's one thing um pluses of a pregnancy my hair my nails my skin my skin it breaks out and it clears up real good my hair's been growing thick my eyebrows have been growing thick um <laughs> my little backside getting a little thick but you know we didn't even talk about all that but you know there's there's a few pluses with the pregnancy and you know you get to kick your feet up sometimes you ain't got to do as much stuff you know you know because you're pregnant you know get the little special treatment or whatever but there's some pluses in it um let's see talk about weight gain so yeah like I mentioned before <clears throat> when I was pregnant with Omi I weighed before I found out I was pregnant with her I was 120 pounds yeah 120 pounds and when I like I think the last time I got measured in um like my last OBGYN doctor's appointment before I had her I was a hundred and literally like 90, 90 something. Um, I can admit with her, I just ate and ate and ate and ate and ate and just didn't care. I was like, I just had this thing like, I don't care how big my baby's going to be. 
I want her to be healthy. I want her to be a chunky baby. But she was a chunky baby. Eight pounds, two ounces. She was a chunky baby. They told me she was going to be six. And the day of, <laughs> when I had her, I found out quickly. When I had her, well, not quickly. It was a long labor. I think I got induced at like nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe earlier than that. And I didn't have her until like 11, what was it, like 11.45 p.m. I, my water broke at 12. Like, it was just so crazy, man. That was a long labor. Um, but yeah, I gained a lot of weight with her. And it seems like I'm gaining a lot of weight now. But like I said, all right, guys, sorry about that. I forgot I had ordered food and Fendi totally reminded me when he heard them knock at the door. But um, so yeah. You know, I feel like I'm gaining a lot of weight now, but like I said, as long as my baby is healthy, as long as she's, you know, fully developed, she's, she's growing good and she's healthy, like I said, then I don't really care about how much weight I gain. Like, I'm just gonna have to take the time and dedication to lose it or whatever. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna sit here and stress myself out over gaining weight. It is what it is. My husband still loves me. Um, shout out to him because he has been very helpful during this pregnancy. He has really eliminated a lot of stress for me during this pregnancy. And just he's been so much, just like a good support team. Um, he's like, I don't know, he, any void I have, he feels it like he's just there for me. So shout out to you, babe, when you watch this. Um, I really appreciate everything you've done for us. All the grinding you do because you know <laughs> my man's a go-getter and he yes so shout out to you baby um i really appreciate everything you do all your hard work you so anyways thanks babe but also let's see what's next hot pregnancy makes you feel hmm i don't know <laughs> Like I said, some females love being pregnant and I just, I really don't, like, I don't, I just don't, um, I just, I don't know, like, in a way, like, I don't want to say the wrong thing and make people think differently of me, but like, in a way, like, some, it's kind of depressing just because, like, I'm limited to things I can do and, like, Sometimes people treat you like you're just handicapped, like they want to do everything for you. Don't do this, don't do that, sit down. Like, I'm good, I'm pregnant, I'm not handicapped, like, chill. And I just don't like that feeling of like, I can't do anything, you know? So, I guess, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing, like I said. So, I don't really know. I don't love, love pregnancy. I don't know, I'm not explaining to y'all, like, I love the fact of being pregnant, like being like, like, I don't know, being able to connect with my baby. Cause like I said, I can feel when she moves, um, like stuff like that. And like, um, the process of giving birth, that's another part that I enjoy. I know it's like a lot of pain and stuff, but it's just like leading you up for like the, the, the gift, you know, of this whole nine months. And then you finally get your gift. And like, I love that part. I love being able to see, hold my baby. Like that part is amazing. Like that's the best part of my pregnancy or pregnancy in general for me, I should say. So yeah, um, challenges or challenges I faced. This pregnancy, I would just say nausea and um, morning sickness, even though I was getting sick any time of the day. Um, so yeah, I would say sickness would was the main challenge I faced so far in this pregnancy which fingers crossed I hope that's the only thing like I said before I had a lot of complications with Omi so I just pray that things stay the same and I don't have to worry about any of those type of things but yeah um last question um are you going to shoot for a boy <laughs> I don't know to be honest um like i said pregnancy is not for me i don't see myself having a lot of kids um i do i do want 
to have a boy. I do hope to in the future maybe possibly try again, but right now, as far as like <sighs> thinking about it, because only in this baby is currently gonna be like six years apart. Yeah, six years apart. Um, I don't want to do that to the baby that I'm currently pregnant with and my future child. So if I were to try again, I'd probably wait about two years and maybe give it another try. And then like, I'm seriously done. Um, but that's still like just a thought. I don't know for sure if that's something that I'm wanting to do. I, I just, I, to be honest, when I first like, <laughs> because growing up the oldest, I never wanted to have kids. I just was like, I'm not going to. I'm not about to be doing that. Nope. Mm -mm. But then, you know, things happened. I fell in love. And I was like, you know, I want to start us, our own little family. And that's cool and all. It's cool. And then, we, you know, having this addition, that's cool. But I don't see myself having, like, a, a lot of kids. I don't. I just, like I said, pregnancy is not for me at all. And... I don't see myself like, oh, like, oh, well, I'm just going to keep, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not for your girl, so. I don't really know how to answer that, like, I'd say maybe, because I don't, like I said, I don't know for sure, like, as I, as of right now, I'm done. I don't want no more kids. Like, I do want a little boy, but a little boy might not be in the gender for me, and if he's not, I'm not going to keep trying. <laughs> so, uh, your girl might be good with two. <laughs> two girls, that's fine by me. Done. But, um, you know, maybe some things will change in the next couple years. Or maybe we'll feel like we're ready to try again. But right now, probably not. No. Um, I'm not saying anything against people that have a lot of kids either. Please don't get things twisted. Like I said, I come from a big family. So, like... That's, that's nothing wrong with that, it's just me personally. That's how I feel about it. I don't wanna have a lot of kids, I just don't. Um, and it's for personal reasons. Like I said, I've gone through a lot of complications with Omi. I don't like being sick. I don't like, like, gaining weight to me is depressing because when I did have her, it took me, when I had Omi at first, it took me, let's see. It took me almost like four and a half years to drop my weight that I gained with her. And I'm not all down for that. Like, it was hard for me to lose weight. I tried dieting. I did exercising. I did working out. I did everything. And the weight didn't go anywhere. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's just me personal. personally. Um, I just don't want to have a lot of kids. So, like I said, maybe two might be good. Maybe in a few years, things change. My mind, mindset might change as far as kids. And maybe I can give it another try. But as right now... I think I'm good. Um, I think we're good. <laughs> um, and I, some people think you just have to have a lot of kids to be happy or to keep somebody. Like, that's, I'm not all for that. If we gotta have a million one kids, we don't need to be together because your girl ain't gonna be pumping and producing all them. <laughs> no, ma'am. But um, if you guys wanna see currently how I look as far as stomach wise, size wise, Pull these pants down so you guys can get a better look. This is currently my little, well, not little, but yeah, this is my stomach. Like I said, I'm currently 173 pounds, I believe. Yeah, I'm five and a half months. Time's going by pretty quick. Um, so yeah, I'm five and a half months, almost six. You know, time's ticking and I'm getting so excited because the countdown is real. I can't wait to hold baby macro. I, I just maybe look like me a little bit more. Um, recently I posted a picture. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me y'all. <clears throat> recently I posted a picture of me and Omi. Instagram and so many people said that me and her look like really like like we look like twins but I disagree if you guys have seen Duna's mom only looks just like her like 
that's her twin. Now, I see similarities between me and Oni, like our eye shape, like this little almond type, whatever you want to call this. Mm -hmm. She has that shape. But that's about it. Maybe her little chubby cheeks, but that's about it. <laughs> but these are the questions and a couple of topics, I guess, that you guys had asked, so I had answered. If you guys want to know, see more videos like this, just drop comments down below. Let me know. I'm thinking about doing a pregnancy try on haul. What would you guys think about that? Do you guys want to see that? I have mainly dresses and a couple outfits that I could do. Maybe I can do doing a rating me or whatever in the outfits or whatever. If you guys want to see, just let me know. Comment down below. Low, but this has been an exclusive video with your girl Jay. Like I said before, make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can stay in the loop of all of our videos, giveaways, challenges, pranks. You guys want to want to miss out? Go ahead and like this video and stay tuned for all of our future content.